everyone and welcome. This is Melissa Arma with the Stock Swoosh and this is the Stock Swoosh Show Live Trading Room Advanced Trader Tracking. This is year to date from January through April 17th, 120,890 and this is an advanced trader risk. So I'm going to go over that in a little bit here as well. If you'd like more information, you can email me at melissa at the or call me at 929 3200 gap Feel free to follow me on Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, or Skype. So right now, earnings season is fully underway. It's about one week into it. And so it's really a great time to trade. A lot of big names coming up in the next month and a half to almost two months. Apple, Netflix already reported, but you have Apple yet to report, Amazon, Google, a lot of big names that are coming up soon. And this obviously makes for really solid, good trades in the market when you have earnings season because stocks move. They have big moves during earnings season. And that is what we're looking for. As an active trader person, you are looking to get a big move each day. Uh, again, this isn't for long-term investing. This is, I call it chunking it out. You chunk it, chunk it, chunk it, where you take an amount of money out of the market and you pull it out daily into a move. Again, the move could be a long or it could be a short. So these are all the trades called in the live trading room. January off, at the beginning of the year, buying with first trade was a loser, second retake, nice winner, 4,200. Ninth through the 11th, closed, I was sick. 14th was Lulu, that was a good gap. Netflix, another nice gap in the 15th. 17th, SIG was a loser in the first trade, and then two nice winners in SIG, second and third trade. AXP was a loser on the 18th, QQQs was a winner on the 18th. Market closed on the 21st. The 22nd was SWK, really nice gap. CUF was a good one on the 23rd. MKC was a loser. QQQ's winner on the 24th. Starbucks was a small gain on the 25th. Cat was a winner on the 28th. 29th was GME, which was a winner. The 30th was a wild one. T was a loser. Then it was a winner with a small gain. QQQ's was a winner. Then uh, the first trade was a loser, then it was a winner, and the SPY was a winner. So that was a very active day. You'll find here most of the days I'm trying to focus on just one ticker symbol a day. So if we hit it right out of the gate, I'm usually only just focusing on that one ticker symbol on that one trade. So the best days usually are what? One or two trades at the most. And you'll see that when you follow me in the room. We trade usually between 9.30 and 10 a.m. Eastern Time. January 31st, X was a winner, Q's was a winner, V was a loser. It was a solid one, solid day. Uh, the first, no trades, fourth, no trades, fifth off, EA was a loser. Twitter was a winner on the seventh, nice gap. Carb, first one, was a loser, second trade, winner. The 11th, no trades, UAA was a loser, Guild was a winner, SPY was a good one on the 12th. TIVA was a loser, SPY was a loser, and second trade, retake, winner on the 13th. NTAP, just did not work. Two losers, MGM winner, Cisco loser the 14th. SPY was a winner on the 15th. Market closed the 18th. WMT was a nice one on the 19th. CVS took two shots. The first one loser, second one winner. DPZ was a good, really good gap in the 21st. 22nd was KHC, nice gap too. 25th room closed. CAT was a loser on the 26th. HD was a loser. SJM was a loser on the 26th too. WTW, nice winner of the 27th at HPQ, nice gap on the 28th. Thir the 1st of March, SPY was a loser, first trade, second one, and, I, and again, I call this a retake, when you have to retake it, I teach this in the class, was a winner on the 1st. Q's was a loser, TV day off on the 5th, TRIP was a loser, Target, two tries, first one loser, second one winner, KR was a winner on the 7th, cost, first trade loser, second one big winner on the 8th. No trades the 11th, Stitch Fix, first one loser, second one was a loser, that just did not work out, that was not a gap that followed through. 13th was off, DJ, first trade loser, DJ, second trade winner, no trades in the 15th. The 18th was OSTK, loser, Spy was a loser, Facebook winner, Facebook was a good one on that day, that was the 18th. 19th was DSW, 20th was FDX. First one, loser. Second one, winner. And then the third one was a small loser. GS was a loser. CSIQ winner on the 21st. Nike was a good one on the 22nd. 25th, no trades. 26th, TV day off. Len was a loser in the first trade. Second and third one won. They were good. 28th, Lulu was a winner. 29th, off. 
April 1st was the SPY winner. April 2nd, WBA, first one loser, second one loser, third one winner, and the Q's was a winner. April 3rd, Q's winner, SPY winner, then off the 4th through 5th. 4A, BA was a winner. BA was a loser on the 9th. Disney was a big winner on the 9th. Disney, two trades on the 10th, both losers. Q was a winner and SPY was a winner on the 10th. BBBY was a loser on the 11th, and WTW, a really good one on the 11th. Disney, two winners on the 12th. That was the day it had that huge gap up. 15th, QQQs was a loser, second trade winner. Disney, first trade loser, second one winner. 16th, Qs break even, BAC winner. 17th, IBM, loser, QQQs, loser, QQQ, second trade small winner. And Apple, really big one there on the 17th. Big move for Apple on that day. Uh, ran up really almost the entire day. And then off uh, on the 18th and the market closed the 19th. So let's just talk here a little bit about what is an advanced trader risk. Around 2,000, some are a little less, some are a little more. Do you have to risk an advanced trader risk? No. And I want to make this point very clear because I want people to see the potential that they could achieve with trading. Again, I started out in 2008. It's 2019. So I've been doing this for 11 years. So, I mean, what I want people to see is the potential for the time and the energy and effort that the money that they can make if they put into this. The beauty is if people come and learn my system, they can learn it in a two-day class. I make it easy for you if you come to me because you learn what it took me three years to put together my system, the Golden Gap system, in a weekend. And so it doesn't have to take you 11 years to get to this point. But I do think it's important for people to know that they do not have to wait until they have the money available to risk $2,000 in a trade to start trading. You don't need to risk $2,000. There is no minimum requirement risk. <coughs> Excuse me, you could risk $50 in a trade if you wanted to for these day trades. Now there is a minimum to open up a trading account. Uh, some prop places require 2,500 on the low end with a 10 to one margin. Then you have retail places require 25,000. It depends really on the broker. But there isn't a minimum and there isn't even a maximum amount that you risk per trade. If you can afford to make $100 a day, guess what? That's $500 a week and that's two grand a month. And most people are losing money in the market. So again, I need to point this out because for some reason this, this has escaped many people. You do not have to risk an advanced amount. You don't. And you can still make money in the market. So whatever you're looking to risk, you're looking to turn it over one. What does that mean? If you risk 500, your goal is 500. If you risk 1,000, your goal for the day is 1,000. If you risk 100, your goal for the day is 100. And so on and so forth, okay? If anyone has questions about this, please, please ask me. I want people to see here what they could achieve. And obviously, you could achieve more than this if you want to risk more, okay? If you want to risk even more than this, you can risk more if you want to. You have to be able to have the money and the cash in your account to risk this though, okay? Or, or anything more. But the point I'm trying to make is you got to use common sense. So do you have to risk the advanced trader risk? No, but you have to start somewhere. You got to make $1,000 a week before you can make $2,000 a week. You have to make $2,000 a week before you can make $3,000 a week. You have to become proficient with the system and follow along. Listen to what I say. Learn the system. Uh, you can grow your small account into a larger account and it doesn't even have to take forever. It's about doing it. And so many people are waiting because they have all this money saved up and they're never going to have it saved up and they're never going to get there because they're not actually having a way to actually make income. So if you're going to save up money, how are you going to do it? Work overtime, work extra hours, get a part-time job. How are you going to do it? The nice thing about the market is you can make extra money right now in the market. However, you must have a system to follow and a person to follow preferably that knows what they're doing which is one of the reasons why I've become a mentor for so many people that are in my trading room, that are my students. So you have to use common sense. You do not need 100 grand a year to trade. You do not need to earn 400K a year. You don't have to do that out of the gate. That can be your goal. That's a great goal. That's a fine goal, but you don't have to wait till you have the money saved to do that. So you start with what you can afford so you can start earning and learning at the same time because it is very, very, very important for people to do what? get somewhere so many people are not getting anywhere with anything at all okay 
And so many people are losing money in the market for years and years and years. And, and, and I just don't understand why people continue to trade and lose, but yet they do. I guess people think they're going to figure it out themselves, but the reality is it's a long road if you figure it out yourself. It took me a lot of money and a lot of time and a lot of blood, sweat, and tears and over three years of my life. Is it possible to create your own system? Yes. Do I think everybody has the capability of doing it? No, I do not. I was very lucky that I figured it out. Also, I'm very smart, intelligent. I had a lot of money and I really was my whole life for that period and it was very difficult. Uh, but I had a great support system, a great family, and I had great friends. So, I mean, you really, and I had money behind me as well. So you really have to decide if you're gonna go that long, hard route or if you're gonna just learn from someone that knows what they're doing like me. I can make it easier for you because you just pay me for the information in the class and you join the room. Following a mentor makes it so much easier for you than going through the process of trying to figure out how to trade yourself. And what's very interesting is a lot of people do not know how to trade and they think they do. But the proof is in the pudding. If you're not making good calls, if you're not taking good trades, if you're not up money at the end of the week, at the end of the month, at the end of the year, then you're not a good trader. You're, you're not positive. So making money is really what it comes down to. That's the nuts and, nuts and bolts of it. So if you want to learn how to train, I can teach you how. You can work for yourself or do this part time. So I teach my method in the Golden Gap course. It's one class on a weekend, Saturday and Sunday, 9 to 5. You learn my whole method and strategy. I don't hold anything back. Class tuition is $59.99 US dollars. Class is online. You can be anywhere in the world and take it. You must take the Golden Gap class in order to join the live trading room. This is a prerequisite. However, there's a fee for the room after the class, just so you know. April 27th and 28th from 9 to 5 is the next class. This is in the middle of earnings season here. It's a good time to get in and learn because you can have the whole month of May then to trade the earnings gaps after the class, okay? Then I'm also doing the trends May 13th, noon to 4. Class is $64.99 US dollars. Class is online. You can be anywhere in the world and take it. So you save $500 by doing the combo, combo deal, okay? Now, if you just want to do options, these are separate from the day trades. That's not the trades that were called in the room. That's not the trades that went over here, but I'm telling you about this. If you don't have time to day trade in the morning, every morning between 9, 30, and 10, then the options newsletter is something that you might be interested in. $49.99 a year, and this is for one year's worth of trades. Totally worth it. I've had a lot of huge calls in this letter too. Same system that I use to make the calls, different stock symbols, and not in the room. So if you join the room, you're not gonna get these trades, and also you have to have done the class to join the room. This doesn't have any prerequisites. If you're interested, sign up early. Class is next weekend for April. Email me at melissa at thestockswish.com. Great start to the year. Looking forward to the rest of 2019.